old friends speak our language, even if it's been a while since we talked. What a day, huh? Yeah. That sums up this walk for Rollin Thomas. He's on his way to see a buddy who just moved in next door at the Heritage at Fox Run and Council Bluffs. They haven't seen each other since the Korean oh, War. Who's this old guy coming in here? You don't look like the last time I saw you. <laughs> That's been almost seven years ago. Yeah, you bet. How are you doing, wrong? I'm doing good. How are you? George Kelly on the left grew up in Woodbine, so Iowa. Rollin Thomas, who's a year younger, was raised in nearby Mondamon. They first met in Logan in 1953 when they joined the Army. Soon they were part of an artillery battery in the Korean War. This is pretty terrific battles are during the war. For a half hour, they didn't miss a beat. Memory is a funny thing. At 90 years old, George said he can't remember what happened yesterday. But the old stories, clear as can be. I said, can you do this? I said, I don't think I can do that. Why not? I said, well, I think I slept through that class. Yeah. George retired from the downtown Omaha branch of the post office. Rollin spent his life as a farmer. They just never crossed paths after the war. We're not quite as agile as we was. <laughs> the two veterans have 69 years of catching up. Powdered eggs, powdered milk, powdered potatoes. Everything we had, even the guns, was World War II. George brought his old uniform. Like many of us as we age, doesn't fit anymore. Rollin still has the pictures from back then, but everybody looks the same. <laughs> it's possible this time tomorrow, these two may still be here in the lobby, talking. On your side in Council Bluffs, Brian Mastry, 6 News.